Hello and welcome to this new update video for Thrones of Britannia. Today we're going to be talking about the Allegiance update and the changes and fixes that it brings along with it. If you've previously opted into the beta, you'll need to opt out to get the latest changes. First up, Estates. We're adding in multiple types of estates, with different bonuses and penalties. We're also adding more traits to characters, which will make them desire certain types of estates, or want to have more estates than the king or a lower level character. This is to create more variety in how to approach characters and estates. Decrees. Similar to the rights in Total War Warhammer 2, the Decrees screen allows the player to enact one of four different decrees that give bonuses to their faction for a number of turns. These could range from bonuses to unit replenishment, big increases to research rate, or triggering expeditions for the Viking Sea Kings. These are now accessible from the top right bar. Allegiance. If you liked how religion works in Attila, and culture in Rome too, this is the version of the mechanic tailored to thrones. It's now a key factor in maintaining good public order across your settlements. Each playable faction has its own allegiance, and it's mainly spread based on your faction leader's influence, certain traits and followers, and by some buildings. It also ties into politics. Some characters will gain traits, and certain events will occur that generates and spreads usurper allegiance. This is a support for civil wars in your territory. You will have to take action to stop this, but those actions may embroil you in further unforeseen consequences. Allegiance will improve your experience over the tussles that can occur over minor settlements, since the automatic public order penalty you used to get for occupation has been removed. Pagan Kings if you play as a Viking Sea Kings faction, you will start with the Pagan Kings Effect Bundle that gives you some bonuses but also some penalties. Conquering lands with churches, abbeys and monasteries, you will at some point get a dilemma. Stay Pagan with reduced bonuses and increased penalties, convert the King with some penalties, or convert en masse with increased bonuses and reduced penalties for a number of turns. If you choose Paganism, the calling to convert to the dominant religion of the British Isles will continue. If you repeatedly resist it, you will eventually, permanently, carry the burden of trying to swim against the tide. Building Trees All building chains for minor settlements, apart from religious ones, now branch at Tier 4 to give the player more options. We've also added more building chains to major settlements, especially building chains aimed at comboing with minor settlement building chains, and what buildings are available in major settlements are much more tailored to be based on the minor settlement chains. There are also plenty of bug fixes, balance, UI improvements, and the battle AI has received a lot of attention too, making it more of a challenge on the battlefield. All of this will be available as a free update on Wednesday the 29th of August. This update will affect existing campaigns, if you've previously opted into the beta, you'll need to opt out to get the latest changes. Check the blog for more.